Hey everybody, we'd love for you to join us at our first ever in-person event, 40 Creek Presents, Trenny and C live at Vista 18 at the Chateau Victoria Hotel and Suites, January 18th, 7 p.m. We are gonna have some great whiskey, some food, and some Drinko Plinko. We're gonna do it all live in person with you, so click the link in the description to get your tickets. Thanks. Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny. This is C. We have a fantastic uh, month for January this yes. year. Why don't you tell the people? Um, we've got Bowmore all month, uh, courtesy of our boy James Neal. Thank you, James and uh, Beam Sun Tori, Bowmore, all the peeps. Cool. Um, and you are. We okay. pulled this one out to right. start. Right there. That's a, the classic. That's the the OG. You know and love it. So we've got or you, or you 12. Don't. That's why you're watching but this video. But the thing is, is we have a second Bowmore 12, and this one. But we, what are we gonna do with two Bowmores? Ah, oh, what could you possibly do? Are you gonna drink them? No, we're giving this one away. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So go to patreoncom slash and and make sure you're a patron because all of our patrons are automatically entered in to win that bottle. Yes. So get in while the getting in's gotten. Look at right. <laughs> Um, look at this. <laughs> look at this. A throw fresh bottle. Oh, you know, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. We're very lucky. We are lucky, folks. Um, some people say you cannot trust a neck pour. True. I disagree, but. I was okay. gonna say, that's a lot of baloney. But I will say, from our experience in the past, we do judge a whiskey on a cork pop and a pre glug. Nice. And these so far have had a good. They're good of each. Why don't you show the people the bottle? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, not to say, sorry, but not to say that whiskeys don't um, occasionally develop a little bit as the air gets into there. Absolutely. But I think uh, the neck pour is still a definitive, you know. Yeah, I've never gone like, oh, this is disgusting. And then the next time I try to be like, oh, this is amazing because it's down a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Quiet on set. Oh, that's a nice type. It, yeah, a nice airy compressed pop. All right, pre glug. Okay. Lovely. Loving it already. It's a great glug. Wait, that's, Give me a, that's a bit glug. weak. Like, kind of weak. Get my chops into this it, thing. Yeah. And ration it here. Okay, good color. I don't know a ton about the idea behind the whole natural color or natural filtration or anything like that. That's what James Neal's for. James Neal when can tell us that kind of stuff. But it is, we've always kind of said it's like, it's a bit of a contract on the bottle. Like totally. if, when you go into a whiskey shop mm -hmm. and you're judging a whiskey by a book by its cover, so to speak, right, right, right. Uh, and whiskeys are generally relatively mm -hmm. expensive, might as well get all the info you can. You're out looking of the at you're looking at check boxes. Yeah, right? exactly. And but twelve years old. Yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, twelve years old, forty percent. Let's get a schnoz on it. Let's go. Hmm. To me, I get the. Um, is it almost like a peachy um, a type sweet of a smoke? Yeah, that's a sweet type smoke. of a fruitiness with that little little waft of like uh, a like a peach pit. Mm. And it's not like a smoke bomb. It's just like, no. it's there in the in the way that it's like Highland Parkish kind of like on the nose yeah. at least on the nose. Yeah. I think it'll be it's bigger on the palate, but yeah, it definitely it has the Isla kind of style to it. But it's um, a bit of the smoke, a bit of the sweetness. I mean, it's it smells like it's relatively palatable for you know. It smells almost That's like great. it's a, it's a real good one for. People that are getting into peat. Well, and you, you know, know it's going to be softer because it's coming in at forty percent. Yeah. Right. Mm, well, it's got some, taste. some fruity. No you know what? Actually, bit of spices on the nose. I was going to say a little bit of herbal, and now yep. I'm getting a little bit more of um, some uh, kind of hayloft going on in the nose here. Yep. Bigger than what I first smelt on the first nose. Okay, let's get it. Give it a taste. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. Definitely has Much that, bigger peat. that peat vibe, that peatiness to it. But it still has like an underlying nice sweetness. Um, yes. It's like an it, inviting peat. Yeah. Like this, this is, is thirst quenching kind of. Yeah. It's like you said, this would Juicy. be like, um, like 
you know, if you were, if you wanted to show somebody Pete for the first time without like blowing their, their face off, which this would be a good spot. Which you never know. Some people go, oh, I want to get my face blown off. So totally. But no, this is it's. I think coming back to this because we tried the Bomar Twelve a few times, for sure. And it over the years, like it doesn't disappoint. I'm getting a little bit of this like um, bubblegum menthol kind of vibe out of it too. Like with the sweetness, yep, like it's got like, a little bit of Bazooka Joe. Yeah, it has almost like a kind of a eucalyptus sort of thing going on too. Like, but overall the underlying sweetness is quite nice. It almost has a slight sherried note to it too. Yeah. A um, little cinnamony, a little yeah. bit of like fruitiness. Like it's all, like those are all like really like pleasant flavors. For the sure. flavor profile on it is really good. And there's no, like, I mean, I guess this goes along with it being 40%, but... It's well rounded from the beginning to the end. There's no big sizzle and there's no big like effervescence. It's kind of just like a comes in sweet and nice and smoky, mm -hmm. kind of ends the same with like a, a mild <clears throat> smoke at the end that drops off a bit. You know what I'm a little more curious about? Mm. There's these number one vaults we keep hearing about from True. Bowmore. It's all over. It's all over everything. And then we also yeah. have the the vault edition first release that we're doing this month and that also they're pumping the tires on these number one vaults on uh, yeah, so. everywhere you go so it, tell us tell us people it says home of the number one vault the world's oldest scotch maturation warehouse Ooh. um so it says the distillery was founded david simpson no p oh simpson, simpson. okay uh 1779 so does that mean that these warehouses were built in like say 1779 and they're just like still standing whereas other old ones have been knocked down or are these the first vaults? Is this that, the first that's place? A question for James Neal. Yeah, is this the first place that they ever, did they like not age scotch before and these people came up with the, I don't know. Great question. Great Keep comment. A comment. <laughs> Historic, um, you can hit the Google people. Ask yeah. Alexa. Yeah, hey Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, what are the number one vaults? See what <laughs> it says it's even anymore? etched in the glass. That's true. I mean, the comp the product was established in 1779. I mean, it's quite a while though. We've got to figure it out. Yeah, I think they've got it dialed in by now. Yeah, throw yeah. a couple hundred years on there and yeah. uh, get your self sorted. All right. Well, um, anyway, <laughs> thanks anyway, for joining us. We're training C. Uh, click like, subscribe. We have a whole lineup of all the different Bowmores this month. So, 12, 15, 18 in the Vault Edition. That's right. So. And stay tuned for all those reviews, 30-second reviews, and then we're going to do Some a scores. blind, what's the best Bowmore? And don't forget to join our Patreon, yeah. because you will be entered in a draw for one of these Bowmore 12s. Win this box. <laughs> we might even put it in that box. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, these. Cheers, these. See?